guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the number one question that I get all the time. John, how did you lose 32 pounds in 10 weeks? I'm gonna share with you one of the three secrets that I use every single day to keep stubborn body fat off of me at 41 years old. Now, these are very simple techniques you can use and you'd be very shocked because what I learned over 21 years is number one, I was training too hard. Number two, I was under eating. And number three, I was eating incorrectly. So today we're gonna to talk about intermittent fasting. One of the biggest things that absolutely changed my energy levels, my overall health, and most of all, it's allowed me to shred stubborn body fat and keep my waist to where it was when I was 22 years old at almost 42, which is awesome. That's the most exciting thing. I know we're all looking for the health benefits, the energy, but who doesn't want a nice set of abs when you go to the beach or you at the pool with your kids? We all wanna feel good about ourselves, right? That's what this YouTube channel is all about, to bring you information so you can make informed decisions on how you want to live your lifestyle. Now, I'll share with you guys. People come on here and they'll give you advice on YouTube and they'll share with nutrition plans and diets, intermittent fasting, but I'm gonna share with you the truth. The odds are against you guys. About 2% of people actually are successful on nutrition or weight loss programs. The reason why is there's a couple reasons why. Number one is there's so much damn information out there. How do you digest it all? And how do you know what's right? How do you know what's wrong? And how do you know what, wor what works for you? Excuse me. Number two is we're inundated. We're inundated with carbohydrates, sugar, good tasting foods that pull us out of our nutrition plans over and over again. And number three, people crash diet or yo-yo diet all the time, messing up their metabolic rate and screwing up their metabolism. The great thing about intermittent fasting is it really fits well with your lifestyle. So the biggest thing I was attracted to about it is I didn't have to carry eight to six meals a day. I have three kids, I'm a father, I'm a podcast host, I'm an author, I have a YouTube channel now. Uh, we do a lot of different things. We run two companies, so I'm very, very busy. So I couldn't live the bodybuilder lifestyle carrying six to eight meals a day. But what I could do is skip some meals. So I started to research intermittent fasting. That was the first thing that I changed that absolutely started to shred body fat off of me, increase my energy, and make me feel like I was 21 years old at almost 42 years old. So I'm gonna break down today what intermittent fasting is and also the timing. So I'm gonna show you the exact timing that I use week one through four, week four through eight, and week eight through 12. So I slowly step myself into it and I'll share with you how it worked throughout the process. So right now I'm gonna share with you the timing that I used for the actual 12 weeks. At 10 weeks I lost 32 pounds, but I'm gonna give you the full 12 week spectrum and I'm gonna share with you what I do now and then I'll share with you a little bit about what intermittent fasting is. All right, so let's talk about the timing guys. So in week one through four, what I did was week one through four, I created a 16 hour fasting window and an eight hour feeding window. So simply put, what I basically did was for 16 hours a day out of the 24 hours. Now think about that. You're sleeping for probably six to eight hours. I sleep about four to six hours. So four to six hours, I'm asleep of that fasted window. So there's only 10 hours throughout the day that I'm not eating. I ate for an eight hour feeding window and I put all my calories into that window. In another video, we're gonna talk about macronutrients. Now the 16 hours, the key to it was I only had water. Sometimes I had black coffee. There's arguments going back and forth that black coffee will pull you out of your fast, but it worked well for me. I'd have black coffee or just water for 16 hours. During week one through four, the first week was amazing. I saw a huge weight reduction but it was mostly water weight. We know we don't start burning body fat that fast, but we will reduce water really quickly. So I was excited because I saw some results. What I was most frustrated about was my stubborn body fat around my waistline. After 35 years old, it seemed like my metabolism just stopped and it all packed on right here. Right away, week one through four, I started to notice that my waistline started to shrink and that made me really excited. So I really got into intermittent fasting. So I wanted to take it to another level. So week four through eight, what I did was, is I opened up my fasting window to 18 hours and I fed for six hours. Now from week four through eight, that's when things really started to change for me. I noticed my waistline kept on shrinking. It was getting smaller and smaller. My pants were getting bigger and bigger. And week four through eight is when I made some of the biggest changes. Now when I went to week eight through 12, that's when the magic started to happen. 
At week 10, I had lost 32 pounds and my waist was down to 29 inches, which is still right at 29 inches. And now I'm in my maintenance phase and I'm putting muscle back on. Week 8 through 12, I did what's called the Warrior. Now, I did a little bit shorter than the Warrior. I believe the Warrior is 23 hour fast in a one hour feeding window. What I did was, I would fast for 20 hours out of the day and I would feed for two hours. I would eat a ton of calories within two hours. Now you may be saying, oh my gosh, I gotta go 16 hours, 18 hours, or 20 hours without food. What you'll find is once you get in the rhythm and you start to get used to the 16, you will have way more energy while you're fasting. There's a reason behind that. Your body starts to operate off ketones. And when your body starts to operate off ketones, it operates more efficiently. So when I wake up in the morning, at uh, 3.50 in the morning, I'm at the gym by 4.30. When I'm working out, I'm in a fasted state. So my body has to make a decision. Here's where intermittent fasting comes into play and why it's so amazing. When you don't have food or glycogen, which is, or excuse me, glucose introduced to the system, which is carbohydrates, or you're fasted, only having water in your system, your body has to make a decision at a certain point. It's either waiting for food or it's gonna to have to run efficiently off your own body. So a couple things happen. When you go into a fasted state, about 12 hours is when my body seems to go into a fasted state. My body has to make a decision. It starts to release growth hormone to help repair my body and to, to in increase everything. Next, it releases noradrenaline, norepherin, through my nervous system because it's in a fight or fleet mode, and it goes to my fat cells and it tells my fat cells to convert the glycogen in the fat cell to fatty acids to be burned for energy. Those are two magical things that happen. Also, your body starts to run off ketones. And if you've done any research on ketosis diets or, or low carbohydrate diets, put more simply, when you start operating off ketones, you have more cognitive brain function. So not only the weight reduction around my belly, I noticed that I had tons of energy. I do podcasting in the morning and I would be flying through the microphone from seven o'clock in the morning till about noon. Now what I do is, when I eat, I realize that I can eat carbohydrates now. I used to carb deplete all the time. Now when I have my feeding window, which I'll talk about in another video, which is targeted macronutrients, I actually eat carbohydrates now, guys, and I eat a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, you see some of my meals. I have these huge plates of rice, I have ground turkey, I have a lot of dense, uh, uh, nutritious calories throughout my nutrition plan. So let's break it down really quickly again. So intermittent fasting is timing of your foods. It's timing, it's eating windows, excuse me. It's a pattern of eating. It is not a nutrition plan or a diet. Now, the first week one through four, I did 16 hour fast, only water, I had a little bit of black coffee, eight hour feeding window. Week four through eight, I was having such great results and when you're seeing results, you wanna do more, right? So I opened up the fasting window just by two hours. We did a six hour feeding window. When we went into week eight through 12, I went all in. And I went 20 hours without eating and a two hour feeding window. How did I manage this? So what I would do is I would eat from about four to six o'clock at night so I could eat dinner with my family. All throughout the day while I was working, podcasting, speaking, uh, writing books, doing whatever I do, I would have so much energy and it was fun. I would have a huge meal in between uh, the two hours. The only issue I saw with this for me personally from an experiential standpoint is I couldn't seem to get all my calories in, but I was dropping weight like crazy. I've learned that it's important to make sure you get a balanced new macronutrient plan, which will help you put on lean muscle mass and maintain that muscle mass. So now I've been in a maintenance phase for a while. So now people ask me a lot of times, what do you do now? I jump around throughout the week. So if I train a big body part, so if I train one of my big body parts like back or legs, I'll do a 16 hour fast and an eight hour feeding window because I can consume more calories or macronutrients through that day. If I do a small body part, which my arms this is one of my smaller, weaker body parts, I will do the warrior. I'll extend my fasting window because maybe I'll get in a less calories. If I do a moderate workout, I'll do an 18 hour fast. So the beautiful thing about it is you can do this with your lifestyle. One of the coolest things I saw was last year we went on a cruise and when I went on a cruise, guess what? I lost a pound when I came back. So if any of you've ever been on a cruise before, it is a food utopia. 24 hour food, pizza, burgers, they had Guy Fiera burgers on there, they're fantastic. I'd probably have like four burgers a day. Doing the fasting window, I was eating like crap, 
even during my feeding window, yeah, the fasting window, even during my feeding window, I was eating like crap. I lost a pound when I came back from the cruise. Now, I give you this information so you can make an informed decision on what will work for you. But I've been in the fitness industry for 21 years. 21 years, guys. I was a competitive bodybuilder, and I knew dieting. I knew nutrition. I knew that you had to carry six to eight meals a day. That's what I thought I had to do. But as you get older, especially men, I'm talking to you. After you turn 35, your body starts to change. You have to eat differently. You have to train differently. You are not 20 years old anymore. Your growth hormone is declining week by week, month by month, quarter by quarter, year by year. So is your testosterone. So you need to eat differently. You need to train differently, which I'm gonna talk about in further videos. So that's why I created the 3T Method uh, for men. It's uh, www.3tmethod.com where I literally built the whole blueprint on how I manage this every single day with education, empowerment. So our next video, we're gonna talk about targeted macronutrients. Then we're gonna talk about triggered workouts, which is important to trigger your workouts. You shouldn't be spending hours in the gym. So hopefully this helped you. That's how I lost 32 pounds in 10 weeks, guys. It just shredded off of me because of my fasted window. And during that fasted window, my body was releasing the number one fat burning hormone, growth hormone, was also releasing noradrenaline, norepinephrine into my system to tell my fat cells to, to convert the glycogen into fatty acids to be burned for energy. And I was operating off ketones, so I had tons of energy and I felt great. So it's not a diet, it's not a nutrition plan, it's just a pattern of eating, and the pattern eating will absolutely change your life. I'll talk to you guys in a bit and have a safe, awesome weekend.